Hi, this is uh, Lila reporting in from Gothenburg. I'm doing my social entrepreneur diary again. Uh, I'm here in Sweden for the Nobel Week dialogue, and it was a really interesting day, and tomorrow we get to go and see the Nobel Prize ceremony. So the dialogue this year was on the future of intelligence and how AI will impact humanity, and so of course I fell on the side of talking about social justice and the impact on uh, people living in poverty. And got to moderate a panel this morning with uh, several really interesting people, including uh, Michael Levitt, who's a Nobel laureate in biology. And we talked a lot about how uh, uh, technology is really agnostic, and it's humans that have to evolve the systems that can manage and, and regulate technology as needed um, so that it doesn't create bad outcomes. And later in the day, I was on a panel, um, which included Bob Schilling, who's a really interesting professor at Yale who works on economic inequality, and we talked a lot about how technology is, is both driving inequality, but also providing a lot of future opportunity for low-income people that could be harnessed if we design better policy and uh, thought a little bit more deeply about the implications of these technological shifts. It was a really inspiring uh, day for me because I spent a lot of time looking at poverty statistics and it's really interesting to be around all of these Nobel laureates who remind us that the world is getting better, that violence is decreasing, that on average uh, the quality of life for humanity is rising, and we still obviously have a problem at the bottom of the pyramid, but um, that bottom of the pyramid is much smaller now than it ever has been in history. So that's really exciting uh, news for a social entrepreneur. We also have been uh, have been celebrating a success. Last year we did our first ever ungala for Sama Source, which raised about 300 grand, but we uh, only spent around 10K to run the event, which is a really good return on investment for us. So we're gonna continue with that format, and it was the opposite of a black tie event. We kept it really low key and really casual and did it in San Francisco, and just gave our core donor base a chance to come out and support us. Um, the other big piece of news is that we merged Samahope with Johnson & Johnson's Caring Crowd platform. This was a really tough decision for us. We had to think deeply about whether the organization and the doctors that we support would benefit more with us running the platform going forward or whether we would get better gains to those doctors if we merged, if we merged the platform with another one. And ultimately we realized that Johnson & Johnson had far greater resources than we do to uh, expand the reach of these doctors and get more people to fund them. So we decided to merge what has been our baby for the last three years. And I think this is going to be really good both for the Sama Hope doctors and patients that they treat and and for Sama Source and Sama School, our core impact sourcing programs. This will give us a much better chance to focus on those programs and on the core idea behind Sama, which is which is giving work to address poverty and all of the challenges that relate from poverty. All right, uh, I guess I'll check out now and go and treat my jet lag. I'd love to hear your comments.